guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. Today's video is favorites, fails, and empties for the month of August. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that way you won't miss out on any videos. Giant bin. All right, you guys, let's just let's just dig in in no particular order with regards to trash. Um, Method. This is my favorite body wash. So uh, they have multiple kinds. Um, they do have a men's version. So and within that men's version, there are several kinds, but the guys seem to like see and surf. Uh, so I've gone through one of those. Um, now, uh, and then I've gone through, this is one of my favorite. This is the um, Simply Nourish. So this is more like for, I would say for sensitive skin. It has coconut, rice, milk, and shea butter. And then this one is a deep detox. Um, we've gone through those. And then I recently, they came out with a new one, which is Berry Balance. So it ha has mulberry, goji berry, and acai. Um, so um, I really like this one. So I've gone through multiples. Let me see. I mean, sometimes everything just runs out. There's another one for the man, men. Okay, self tanners. <laughs> Darlene loves a self tanner. <laughs> Only during the summer. Um, maybe a little in spring. Um, this is my favorite <laughs> Saint Tropez um, one hour tan. I get, um, right now I get the medium to dark. Um, I love this bronzer. The only thing about it, or self tanner, is that you have to do it in the shower. I mean, otherwise you'll just have this stuff everywhere because it's a spray. So I go in the shower, here's my trick because I don't want it on my feet, is I take a wet washcloth and stand on it in the shower, not while the shower is running, spray everything down, step out, the bottoms of my feet then aren't covered in tan, self tanner. The, oh God, that stuff's horrible to get off of there. And then I'll go in and pat it down with Josie Maron. So I'll use Josie Maron's Argon Oil uh, with a little mitt uh, to just get areas where, you know, I mean, it's a little hard to, you know, right? So we might get a little splotch or something. So I just go in with this. And this also is super helpful to um, extend your tan. So I went through one of these as well. Not surprising. And in fact, in fact, there's another one downstairs that I'm close to being out of. And then last but not least, um, Australian Gold. This is an instant bronzer with an SPF of 15. Um, so this is great because it is water resistant for 80 minutes. Um, now I do nothing to my face. No self tanner, uh, nothing. I stop right there and do, do my body. Um, and I literally, I wear full makeup. If you guys didn't see my most recent video um, with my, uh, where we took our vacation, um, uh, it'll, I'll list it in the description box for you, but you could tell I wear full face of makeup going, well, it just depends. Um, usually not foundation to the pool, but I do my Winky Lux, my uh, tinted moisturizer. I have to do a bronzer. I use that Chanel. It's so gorgeous, you guys. So anyways, <coughs> went through those. Um, with regards to my hair, this is not going to be any surprise whatsoever. So I went through an e-salon. I didn't keep the giant box this time. So I went through an e-salon. I, I do it every three to four weeks, depending. During the summer, for some reason, my hair just grows faster. So I'm like three weeks. Three weeks, we got to do it. Otherwise, I need to do a root touch up. And for the root touch up, I use these two. Just depends on what I'm going for. If I'm wearing a pretty party pony, which you know I'm obsessed by, um, I will use the L'Oreal in red because there's more copper in that. Otherwise, I use the E Salon in dark auburn. Um, in fact, is there anything left? Very little. That'll be in next month. Um, so always, every three weeks. And I only save a couple things for you guys because I'm not going to save a whole bunch of them. Um, and then 
I think that's it for hair. With regards, oh lord. With regards to uh, skin care, there's only a couple things that I've gone through um, because I, you know, I don't, I, I am low on a couple things as well. So next week there'll be a couple things. Um, Uplift Firming City, Uplift Firming Serum from City Beauty. I'm out of that and I'm also out of Earth Arbor's Nubella. Um, will I replace either one? Um, no. Uh, and here's why. Uh, I like the, the, so for Earth Arbor, let me start there. Um, these are my two favorite. I mean, you can see that I'm really low on uh, Helios. Um, so these are actually my two favorite. I have them in my little mini fridge. Um, so those ones um, I am more fond of. I tried this, didn't feel like it did anything. I like those ones better. And with regard to the City Beauty Uplift Firming Serum, I honestly believe that the Skin Lifting Booster has replaced that. So I don't feel it's necessary to have both. Uh, you may ask, what is the Skin Lifting Booster? Good question. So what you do is you take your favorite moisturizer. In my case, it is Tatcha. So this is a favorite. The Tatcha Dewy Moisturizer, I'm obsessed by. Look how fast I'm going through this. I mean, it's crazy. It doesn't take a lot, but it's just every day, every night. I mean, I love it. I, I have a teeny tiny one that I originally started with. So that's what I would recommend. Get a little, you know, sample size. I use this one for travel. So I'll put put it in here that way I'm not having to carry the big one but what I'll do is whatever your favorite moisturizer is put it on the back of your hand with a couple drops of this and um, and it just helps lift the skin it is a booster for whatever you're gonna do do you have to put it with the moisturizer no there's times where if for whatever reason oh man I forgot to put it in my moisturizer I'll just put a couple drops on my face and rub it in that's all you need to do so I feel like this replaced that I'm always honest, I'm not, I'm, you know, it's crazy. Now, I did try another product from Earth Arbor. This was a mask, it's the Glow Juice uh, Refining Enzyme Mask. Don't bother, <laughs> I'm just honest. It just really didn't do anything exciting to me. Okay, y'all, <laughs> I do have an issue. Um, and this is only some of them, like seriously, it's kind of bad. <laughs> okay so all of them are by Velour I have now uh, come to the realization I love Velour so um, there's a couple different ones here um, and maybe I'll do a dedicated video and show you my top three um, I do have one box of Lily lashes it was the last one I had and so I used it um, but otherwise Velour is my new one. So really there's three that I do. The Effortless, which is the really kind of all natural look. Um, and then this one, what is the name of this one? Um, this is the Vegan Luxe Lashes, which is what I have on today. Let me zoom you in. So they're a little bit more. Um, to me, they're still natural for me were to say to me, darling, I've never put lashes on. I want to try them. I would say go with Velour Effortless. They're awesome. Oh, by the way, I forgot this hair care product. I ran out of an e Salon moisturizer. I go through more moisturizer than I do shampoo. Um, seems like it, it's just one of those things. And then I did try a new um, dry shampoo. Probably never going to find <laughs> anything better than what I love, but occasionally I try. This is Collab dry shampoo and it, like I've used this much of it but I really I hate it I mean if it was so so I'd try I'd keep it but no I don't what is my favorite you know what my favorite is not your mother's beach babe texturizing dry shampoo love it I could use it right now even though I just washed my hair last night oh my god it smells so good it smells like the beach but like in a good way you know what I mean and then I actually went through a it cosmetics your lips but better and i think this is romantic rose oh, yep romantic rose i went through a lip liner you know how long it takes a long time but favorite um eyeshadow palettes this month um easy i used two so this is the bobby brown i got this as one it's great neutrals 
but number two, they have some fabulous shimmers in here. There's three, sh four shimmers. Um, and, and I love this color right here for an all over shade. So it's a beautiful palette. The second is Natasha Denona. Now, if you are a subscriber that watches every channel, you will know that when I originally tried this out, and it was a first try, right? Um, I was not overly impressed. I was like, well, if you're gonna spend that kind of money, why don't you pick up this palette right here from um, Real Her? I mean, look at the colors. So many similar colors, y'all. But what I found was, I really like it. One, it's great for traveling because it's the mini. Um, and the colors are beautiful for spring going into fall. It's beautiful. And as we move towards fall, today I have this palette on. Let me, let me zoom you in. So today this is the look I created. And so what I did was in the crease, well, okay, it's a combination of Bobbi Brown because I used the all over color that let me show you. Let me open it up just in case you want to know. So I use this for the all over color, right? Hides those little imperfections that we get. And then I went in with this color here for transition, which actually has a pink hue to it. Um, and then, let me zoom you. Let me get you up here and zoom you in a little bit more. Okay, well that's as far as you can go. Okay, and then what I did was I went in with a mixture of this color and this color in the crease. I went in with in the crease and then I took the darkest color here and just tapped the outer V here. And then underneath, um, a mixture of these two colors right here. So eyebrows, I don't have to do a lot. Uh, um, Charlotte Tilbury, I am obsessed by legendary brows. I mean, I love it. The wand is what it's all about. It's just, look how teeny tiny. And you know I love the uh, 1980 brow, and I still love it, but let me just show you the difference in the, um, in the wand. Look at that. So you could really get in there with that little wand. Um, so either one is excellent, but I just love this little wand because you could just really get in there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just excellent it's just excellent okay next is um when i got the bobby brown palette it came with a mascara now you know i wear false eyelashes all the time i don't ever use just regular mascara i can't anymore i'm like obsessed by how much it opens the eye maybe i'll do like a side by side but anyways i do use it underneath and i use it to bring the lashes together. And so this is a really, really good mascara. Like I really like it a lot. Um, so if you're looking for a mascara, excellent. Um, still sticking with my Milani. I'm obsessed by Bella Bellini. Never wants, never wants to come out. So I've been using this all month, all month. This is like the number one, I'm reaching for it 99% of the time because it goes with everything. It's just one of those things. And then, of course, now I just realized, oh, I almost dropped it, um, that I have nothing left in my, I was like tap, 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 and I'm like, I have just the teeniest amount of the Bella Pierre uh, finishing powder, so I already have a brand spanking new one sitting there right next to it. I'm never gonna be without that. That Bella Pierre finishing powder with the puff from Beauty Blender is magic for your under eyes. If you have not seen that video, you must see that video because I have horrible under eyes. Just give a little tap, tap, tap. And um, after you put on your concealer, I use Estee's Lauders uh, Double Wear. Find the concealer that works for you and then use that and you will be blown away, no joke. Now, um, I think that's, cause oh, Chanel. Let me just, I know I spoke about this last month, but I'm gonna do it again, look at this. I've, I'm just digging into this like there's no tomorrow. This is the softest, most beautiful bronzer. Just look at this. I mean, it glides on like there's no tomorrow. I have my makeup done, and you're like, oh, Darlene, don't ruin your makeup. No, take your fingers, go along, you know, if you wanna kinda accentuate your cheekbones, you wanna just brighten up your face a little bit, 
it's beautiful. What I've been doing is using the It Cosmetics. I'm not a big finger person, and I have to say that. I always say that. Not a big finger person, but go in with this, and um, I go in with my It Cosmetics brush because it's an angled brush, and then you know I can really get in there and and do it, and it's gorgeous. I bring it down my neck. That stuff is like magic. It melts into your skin and looks natural. It doesn't look overdone. So I have to run and go get my son's haircut and then I will be back and we will finish up. We'll talk about my favorite fashion, jewelry. Look at, I picked up another um, Chris Nations necklace. Look at this. So you know I have the black one, the black locket. Look, they, it comes in pink. <gasps> But I am going to switch it out with this outfit because I'm wearing pretty much all black. And yes, obsessed by the maxi dresses too. So anyways, I'll be back. So yeah, it's a continuation. So I, <laughs> I've never done this before. I've literally changed outfits. Makeup's exactly the same. Um, hair is the same. But um, I changed outfits. It's the next day because I thought I could come home, have enough time to finish Favorites, Fails, and Empties, but I did not have time. We were gone from 10.30 in the morning until five, about six o'clock. Uh, we didn't get home. So there was no way of finishing that video, so I thought I'd start fresh this morning. So let's, um, I'm not sure exactly where I left off. Some favorites that I haven't gone through, but that I've been using. There's a couple hair items that are new and that um, have become favorites. One is a new hairspray. For those of you that know, I do not like hairspray. I do not like a lot of hair care products. I have a whole playlist uh, with regards to styling my hair, coloring my hair. You know I use Isalon. Well, Isalon ha came out with a hairspray called Stretch Hairspray. Touchable hold mist for an airy, bouncy style. Hello, that's me. Um, so this is designed specifically for color treated hair. It's a pink and a pink bottle. Come on now. Um, so no, and I only again I use a very light. That's it. That's that's it. But I like. Do you see how it makes it a little bit bigger? <laughs> this girl loves big. So I have to say that I really like this. My previous favorite, and I still love, is the Redken 15. I just can't get it anywhere. Yeah, I can't get it anywhere for some reason anymore, and I don't know really what's going on there, but um, it is what it is. Had to find a new one, and now I just get it sent to me when I need it through the eSalon subscription, so that is fabulous. And if you all are going, what the heck is eSalon? That is the hair color that I do, so I do my own hair color. If you haven't seen that, I have a whole playlist on that. I'll put that in the description box for you as well. Now, as far as the makeup that I've been using, oh, one more hair, ah, see, I'm already jumping. Okay, hair. This right here, so I tried it out in a video, and I don't even remember what video, um, straightening my hair, and then I tried it curling it, and I really like it. So this is a really neat hair straightener. Um, so to turn it on, it's just a twist. And it sounds like a jet engine gearing up. You can see there's the plates, and it has these little holes here to cool your hair. So it's actually super, super good for your hair. There's a little light right here that's blinking, so as soon as it heats up, I'll just do a strand for you and show you how you can actually curl your hair. It doesn't do the bouncy waves that the T3, this is what I use to get this particular look. This would be more, I would say, more for a beachy wave. Um, but as soon as that's heated up, it doesn't take long, I'll go ahead and show you. One last thing regarding hair, these right here, the slip. You can't see them in this thing. I got a whole bunch of them. So this was, they had the pink, like mauvey ones and then they had the black ones so what the black ones look like um so the reason i'm bringing these up is they've been a favorite for years i love them um one the only time that i actually wear a rubber rubber band is when i'm doing a pretty party pony because i have to have it super super tight and pretty party pony actually provides you with a rubber band so it's super soft and super great for your hair um, these I wear the minute I get home from anywhere or I'm not doing anything or I'm just working out or whatever my hair goes up 
in a bun. I cannot stand my hair on my face. Um, and I actually always have one in my handbag just in case like I just get overheated or whatever. Um, I'll put that on. I sent them to my oldest daughter and she's like, these are great. Like when I pull it out, I'm not ripping my hair out. And I'm like, yes. So that is definitely um, uh, a beauty favorite for sure. And I picked that in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Um, but I can't, if these go on sale, I would definitely pick them up and try them because um, they really are great. And they come, um, you're, you get 16 of them. I mean, that's a lot of hair ties. So, um, and they'll last forever. You can throw them in the washer. I throw them in the washer all the time. Let's move into, okay, so that's hair. Let's move into cosmetics. Let's heat it up. Let me just show you really quick. And so I'll just take, we'll just take this little baby right here. And this is so super lightweight. So for any of people out there that maybe you have arthritis in your hands, maybe you can't hold something like a T3 or the other flat irons, this literally you can hold with two fingers. You can hold with one finger if you can balance it. But um, it's super easy and there we go. See that curl? So, uh, see that? So it's really good. Um, but um, it's really good for your hair and you can see it will turn off. It's like a little jet engine, I swear. It's a little bit loud, but it does its thing. All right, so I think I went through, um, I know I went through the, the palettes. Now there's a new lip product that I've been trying. This is by Emily Gordon. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing her name right. She has, there's a lot of different um, scents or uh, you know, like a lot of different, um, this is a really neat uh, lip balm. It's really an anti-aging lip balm, lip balm. So you could put it on at night and go over line and it helps with fine lines, but here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you split screens because I put it on this morning for you guys. It And this one, if you love the smell of coffee, which I do, I just don't drink it, I don't like it. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Canale, canale, like crepe, canale, I don't know. And then she has one that's French pear as well. And they're just really great. They have all good ingredients in them and they smell divine. They're made uh, in New York. Oh God, I could just, I could literally just carry this around and just smell it all day long. <laughs> I know. Um, the lippies that I've been gravitating towards are, you already know this, if you watch my channel, by the way, if you watch my channel and you watch my videos, regardless of what video I'm doing, with the exception of the Nordstrom's videos, and, and I'll tell you why, um, in the description box is a list of the makeup I'm wearing in that video, as well as the outfit that I'm wearing in that video. The only reason it, there, I can't do that in the Nordstrom is YouTube only allows us so many characters. So when I'm listing all of the clothing and shoes and accessories and stuff, there's no room to put it. <laughs> but otherwise, um, every other video, the makeup I'm wearing is exactly what I'm wearing is there. So if you wanna know, you go, oh wow, I really like that lipstick or that look or whatever, all the makeup's listed. Um, so if you notice, there are two items with regards to lips that um, I've pretty much gravitated towards the most. One, one is the Winky Lux um, lip liner in Meow. I'm obsessed by that lip liner. And the second is, um, which here, I'll, I can swatch it for you. This is, and I've had this for years and all of a sudden I just pulled it out and I was like, oh my God, it's so perfect. Cause it just really can hit that berry note or the nude note. And the second one I'm really loving is the Mauve by Estee Lauder. Um, so that's on this side, right? Let me get it right. Yeah, it's on the outer side. So that's Mauve by Estee Lauder, love that one. The lippies that I put pulling, and I don't have, an, it's in my, my other bag, it's in the beach bag downstairs. Um, but you guys have seen it. It is Milani's um, Matte Naked. Love that lippy. It's gorgeous. Uh, the other ones that I've been pulling for a lot are Intense Nude. That's what I have on today. Um, this is a really pretty, pretty, pretty color. I love that one. Um, I thought it went with, this is what I'm wearing today. I'm heading to Nordstrom today, y'all. Um, and then uh, the other one is rebellious rose. If I'm wanting something a little bit brighter, then I go with rebellious rose. 
see the difference so those are the lippies that I kind of been pulling um, the majority of this month um, pretty standard and by the way that winky Lux, that is excellent I've got to get another I've got to invest in a few more uh, winky Lux um, uh, lip liners and really give them a try because they um, are excellent at not running into the fine lines and they stay put they're excellent sunscreen that, that I've switched y'all know City Beauty for those of you that don't know City Beauty decided to discontinue their sunscreen I have no idea why um, I'm not privy to that information but I loved it because it was anti-aging sunscreen and a primer well Charlotte Tilbury thank goodness came out with a flawless primer that has a uh, sunscreen of 50 and it is a primer so it's a sunscreen primer with an SPF of 50 broad spectrum so I've been loving this as a replacement to uh, the City Beauty yeah kind of bummed about that y'all really bummed and then because it is summer Winky Lux tinted moisturizer is what I've been using all summer long all summer long and the foundation that I've been using all summer long is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra 3W1. So in the summer, I am 3W1. In the winter, I am 2N1. I'm a neutral, so I can go either way. So that, those, that's makeup, hair and makeup. Now let's talk about accessories, and then we'll just go right on into fashion. So what have I been pulling? So how I figure this out, now do I post every single outfit that um, I get dressed in? No. But I post a lot of them on um, uh, Instagram, so that helps me. I can go through the last month and go, okay, I see what you wore. Um, but I also know what my favorites are as well. So accessory-wise, I will say with the Nordstrom's anniversary sale, of course, that pulls some things, you know, that's supposed to really be like, oh, you're stocking up for fall and winter, but there are a lot of things that really are year round. Um, one of them are the, uh, is the earrings that I am currently wearing. These I am obsessed by. These are the Kendra Scott. I got them in two of the three colors that they own. These are, I'm going to split screen and show you what looks like on the picture. I know, I know, it doesn't look like the same earring, does it? It is. But what happens is it's going to pull, the beautiful thing about this is it has this mother of pearl iridescence. So whatever you wear, it is going to pull the colors, which just makes this earring perfection. So as you can see, I have it on with this dress, which by the way, yes, this was from the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. It is now available in all sizes. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's a perfect dress for transitioning into fall. Now, the other earrings are these ones here. I wore these on our, la on our trip, our vacation most recently, pretty much all the time. I wore them to the pool. I wore them out to dinner and as you can see these would go perfectly with the dress as well it all depends on what you want now if um, I'm always honest if I'm honest and you say I can only get one pair darling go with this pair this pair right here is going to go with so many things this pair is so beautiful but see it's a silver this has a gold so i'm actually pulling the browns here today instead of going with silver so including the necklace that i have on and the bracelet that i just neglected to put on because i will be putting this on as well we need a chunky little bracelet so um i love those i've been grabbed those earrings now let me just say, and then these earrings. I own these earrings, they're Kendra Scott as well, in both silver and gold. I will try to find them, but they are sold out on Kendra Scott's website, but we may be able to find them somewhere else. So of course, I will try and list them, but these ones, I always, always bring the silver and gold on vacation because I don't care. They would go with exactly what I'm wearing. You, if, if these earrings are just, they're so easy um, because they just go with everything. So um, those I've been pulling 
for the past month as well. Uh, necklaces. Okay, Chris Nations. Um, and I put the black one. Okay, y'all have seen the black one. Let me just split screen so you can see it. I've worn it a million times. That's that little heart locket. So I'm going to zoom you in because I had to pick up another one. Um, I'm just obsessed by these little lockets. They're gorgeous. This one was a pink. It's pink enamel. And then it is truly a locket. So let me show you. You just open it up and there you have a little locket and it's gold on the back. I'm going to have to move closer to you guys. So there we go. That's the pink one. How beautiful is that? I just love it. Now, are you really being able to see it with this paisley dress? No, but I had it on yesterday uh, when I went out and so I'm just going to leave it on because it goes with what I'm wearing. Of course, it's you can't see it through all this beautiful paisley print, but that's okay. Um, so I picked up this one. Now let me tell you something. This is how it comes. It comes in this cute little jar. So it's a little plastic jar with a little, and it's so cute, and then it has all the little paperwork and stuff like that. So they make a great gift. They're really cute. Oh, and for those of you that wanna know, yes, I wear this a lot. This is one bangle so it's attached because bangles drive me crazy i used to <laughs> one time i wore them to church and i was like every time i moved my hand i was like nah, nah, nah. i was like oh no so um i love this one this one i got i want to say from express which it's been years but amazon good old amazon has this one as well um and so it actually i think comes in a two-piece so it has a solid cuff and then one similar to this. I like this because again, it looks like multiple bracelets, but you're not, you know, having to put, I don't know, 20 of them on. And I think it looks pretty. And yes, it's my favorite bracelet. I wear it all the time. Now the sunnies is we're, we're talking accessories that I did pick up and I've been wearing all summer long, uh, in the Nordstrom sale are the ones from key. I love these. They're great. They're amazing. They're also dirty. I'm the worst y'all. I wish I could say, oh yeah, I take good care of my sunglasses. I put them in their case. I don't, I don't. Um, and I just put them on top of my head and then off I go. Um, so I love these, these sunnies. I wear those and then I wear the ones, the aviators. But I love these when I'm wearing my hair down because I can do this. And the arms of the sunglasses aren't gonna get tangled in my hair. So just leave it up like that. Now, the other thing that um, I'm obsessed by is this belt. So you guys know I love a good belt and I wore this on our vacation. I'll show it to you. I'll split screen in a minute and show it with the white dress. And that white dress is uh, one of the things I love too. But if you're looking for a great, like more Western um, style belt that's not like, you know, over the top, I love this. And I thought it looked really cute. This is what I'm wearing today. But I, I may switch out because it is going to be a little hot. So I think that I might go open toe booty um, because it is it is going to be like 85 today. But um, our 85 is a lot different than Texas. Handbags. So I mentioned this handbag. I don't even know how long ago. In just briefly in a video, it wasn't a favorite. I mean, it is a favorite, but I didn't mention it. Mm, the New York video, because this was the bag that I used, I think, the entire time with the exception of maybe going to the, fan, you know, like a date night dinner. So this is by Bell and Bloom. And um, I had never heard of them before. And I'm not, let me just preface this by saying, I'm not one that switches out my handbags like a million times. I love my handbags and occasionally you'll see, oh, maybe I'll be carrying a green Michael Kors or I'll be carrying something else. Um, but honestly, it's just time consuming to me to switch out bags. That's why I love a black bag. Now today I will be switching bags out. I love this because it has a double strap so you can unhook whatever you want. Love the guitar strap. It's super casual, big enough that it carries everything that you need and super cute. You can hold it by the handle. It just dawned on me that I have a pink bag that I have. It's brand new and I haven't used it. So anyways, a favorite. I don't know if it's still available because this one I actually got off of Nordstrom Rack. Um, but of course I will list it and if the pink one's available, I'll list that one as well and I'll show you a picture if I can find it and 
put that there for you. The bag that I used primarily um, during our vacation was this one right here, right off of Amazon. But what I love about this one, because sometimes you get a bag like this and either there's no pockets. There's a pocket here, um, which I like. Um, and you can zip this bag as well. That's the other thing that I think is important, you know, is that to protect your thing. So you can zip this up and it's just a super cute um, beach bag. And then, so if I'm going to the beach, the, the, on the water, wherever, um, I'm gonna use this bag. Well, I may or may not be using this bag today. I don't know yet. Ooh, yes. Well, I don't know, kinda looks good. Look, I haven't even pulled the, I literally just got this bag in, y'all. Well, I probably got it, I don't even, and here's the thing, I can't even tell you, let me, let me get all this off and then let me tell you where I got it because House of Want. Uh, so I think this was Nordstrom as well. Um, so really cute. Once again, I love, it has to have this. Like I cannot just hold a bag because you know, I gotta use both my hands. That's my that's my thing. It's like, it, it, it's, it's gotta have both. Well, it doesn't have to have both, but it has to have definitely. So I really like this. It's a little bit smaller than the other one that I just showed you. Um, but it's, it's really cute. Um, the gold hardware zipper open up. Um, oh, cute. Okay. It has a dust bag, which wouldn't it be nice if Darlene put all of her stuff in a dust bag? She doesn't. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. There's two pockets in here and then a zippered pocket. Okay. So it has all the things you need to protect your stuff. Um, and I just thought it was such a pretty pink. Look at that color. It's almost like a light. I just got my, my nails done. Look, they match. It's um, almost like a lilac -y pink, right? So pretty. And since I am wearing gold today and brown, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna switch that. Anyways, really cute bag. Um, is it a favorite? Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> Let you know next month. No, it's it's a beautiful bag. Um, okay, so bag, 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 shoes. Okay, we're on shoes. Okay, so these ones. I know, do you guys get tired of these? But I'm telling you, they're the best shoe, the best espadrille. They're the go-to. When I don't want to think about it, I just want an espadrille. I want it to be comfortable. I want it to be easy. <laughs> I mean... Dr. Scholl's, comfortable, everything, perfect. Now, if you want a really cute one um, and super lightweight, like if I grab this one and this one, huge difference. Let's say this weighs a pound, it doesn't, I don't know what it weighs, but if this weighed a pound, this would weigh half it. You just feel the difference. The, I'm looking, they're the same height, which is phenomenal. And this is by uh, Kelly and Katie, which is a brand I had never heard of. Um, I love this. Again, we have a Velcro. It's different. This goes around the, the ankle, kind of, well, sort of at the top of the vamp of the foot. And super, 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 super comfortable and super squishy. Wish they had it in more colors, um, but they were sold out. Um, but I should just keep checking back. Now, I became obsessed with these sandals. I had them on yesterday. I'll show you the little outfit that I had on yesterday. That little dress was from Chico's and it worked perfectly. It was so cool and just, I'm, so for summer for me, it's all about dresses and shorts. That's it. You're not gonna see me in pants. You're not gonna see, well, I shouldn't say that. 99% of the time you're gonna see me in dresses and shorts. Sometimes you'll see me in like the black linen pants or the black silky pants or the white linen pants. Other than that, that's what you're seeing me in. So I'm all about the dresses and all about the shorts. So um, these shoes are phenomenal. They just go right around like a little Velcro around the ankle, non-slip. Look how cute that, and yes, they're dirty because I've worn them. Um, I've worn them in the water. I wear them when I'm kayaking. I wear them when I'm out just enjoying a great lunch by the uh, lake as I did yesterday. And these are phenomenal and super comfortable and super lightweight, flexible. The minute you put them on, they're gonna conform to your foot. And then look at this with this arch support. Love these. So that's, they've been a, an absolute, 
must have favor. Now, while we were on shoot, while I'm on shoes, um, I just want to show you a container that I'm using for my sandals. So you know I love organizational things. So even though this really isn't about the shoe, it's about storing said shoes. And I've got a lot of flip-flops and sandals. So I bought this, and what this is is a storage unit that typically go well, can go anywhere you want. I have it under my my bathroom sinks to hold the toilet paper. Yep. Um, and so like I have one in my son's and one in the spare bathroom. And I, I had an extra one, so I was like, oh, look, and it holds, literally there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pair of sandals in here. And I could easily put in one more. So I love that it's just a way to put the sandals that you wear the most, um, like up here. Like I just have them all nice. I had them in a bin and it took up too much like a giant basket and it took up too much room. I'm like, this is just perfect. Look at this idea. I don't know. I thought that was a really great idea. Let's talk clothes. Ooh, ooh. I have watched my channel long enough. You know I have a prosthesis. This isn't about that so much as I was looking for a bra that would be, that would hold up enough to where I could wear an off the shoulder without having to tuck the strap. Like I could actually remove the strap. And then I said, well, if it's that good, could I actually get it to actually, could I wear a strapless, you know, having that prosthesis, you know? Um, so this is the famous bra from Nordstrom. What is it called? Like the red, it's by Wacol. And I think it's like the, called their red carpet or whatever. I don't know, but it is. It's phenomenal. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's it's just a great um, uh, convertible bra, so you could do it around the neck as a halter or whatever. So for me, it was really a must. Um, I love it, and so um, that is definitely a favorite. I've been using it all summer long. Uh, well, I've been using it for the last month. The other thing I picked up was these. And you're gonna be like, what the heck are those? Well, look, they even get weirder. They got cute little hearts on the inside. So what they do, okay, because I have a prosthesis on this side, sometimes this side, this is a 55 year old boot. So sometimes this side tends to be perkier because we have a prosthesis than this side. So what this does is just goes underneath, the little hearts help, okay? So you put the hearts on the outside and it pushes the boob up, right? I mean, this isn't pushing, you know, it's not like you got some triple Ds there, this isn't gonna help. But it just gives a little lift and a little push in. Um, so I'll just, sometimes I'll wear them both, sometimes I'll just wear the one. I wear them with bathing suits. Mm -hmm. Yep, love them, they're awesome. Speaking of bathing suits, let's start there because let me tell you, I have never purchased a LeBlanc bathing suit in my life and now I own three. <laughs> um, because the one, okay, so let me just show you my absolute favorite, this bathing suit. This bathing suit will look good on anyone. I'm telling you, it's because, of, okay, look, they're not the most inexpensive bathing suits and they're also not the priciest bathing suits, but for what you get, they are so well made and they hold everything in and I just love it. So this one is my favorite. It has a double strap, but it's a looped strap so you can adjust it. You only are adjusting one and as you adjust it, it pulls it up, right? And I always size up one size in a bathing suit. So if I'm an eight in a dress, I'm gonna size to a 10. That typically works 95% of the time. Um, so the, I, I wore two of them, I had two of them at the time, and I wore both of them um, on my vacation. The second one has a very deep slit here. That became a little more cumbersome with the prosthesis. Now, for those 99% of you that don't need to worry about that, this is a beautiful suit. It crisscrosses in the back and you just tie it and it's like a halter and it's gorgeous and the colors are fantastic. and. It just, they're, they're just so vibrant and they just make you look good and they make you feel good. And let me tell you, when a bathing suit can make you look and feel good, sold. 
So those were my two favorite. Then I went out and y'all didn't see my swimsuit video. I'll list that in the description box as well. But I had purchased this one here and for some reason I went down a size. <laughs> I know. So I was like, well, that is so not gonna work. So I went and bought this one in the appropriate size, but I'm obsessed by the, look at this. The colors are gorgeous. The ruching is gorgeous. You have a shelf bra in here, so it gives the girls the lift that we need. My prosthesis fit perfect, because you know there's that little, little hole, that, that little hole thingy um, that you could pull the little, pads that they have in there you could pull that out so what i do is pull that pad out on that side and put my prosthesis on in that side i have a swim prosthesis and look at these colors i mean they're just so gorgeous now if you want a two-piece they have it in a two-piece they have it in three i think there's three or four um designs i'll try and list some of them here for you but yeah this is i love the colors i thought it was just they it's just beautiful and I did pick up a couple other things from La Blanca. I picked up a dress and a swimsuit cover, but I am going to do a whole, I'm gonna pick up a few more things, and then we're gonna do a La Blanca haul, I think, because I think that they deserve their own video. And no, I'm not sponsored. They don't even know who I am. Well, I mean, I don't think they know who I am. I'd love it if they knew who I was. Um, not that I wanna do swimsuits by any means, um, but I would do theirs because they're very, very good. So those were some pleasant surprises to me and I just was obsessed by the quality and that I could just get away with an off the shoulder or a one shoulder, not off the shoulder, that I could get away with a one shoulder. I mean, beautiful. So I'm, I'm excited looking into their more of some of their clothing, you know, because they definitely do cover ups. Um, but they also do clothing, clothing as well. Let's talk about shorts because I feel like, well, if you're wearing a bathing suit, then uh, let me mention one cover up here that um, it that I wore um, during our trip, and absolutely I've worn also to uh, on the boat trip, and it's this one right here. Beautiful. I love the crochet detail. I love that it's long. I love that it's sheer. I love that it's white, although they have it in black. It has two little ties and it's beautiful. So you have your gorgeous swimsuit. If you buy the white or the black, it's going to go with any swimsuit you own. And then just put a pair of little shorts on or a little skirt and boom, you could go to lunch after your boating or your vacation, you know, at the pool or whatever. And it just, you're covered up. I think it's very classy and right off of Amazon. So you know I'm a fan of that. Now, as far as shorts go, I uh, I love uh, Express for shorts. It, it seems that whatever they're doing, they're doing right. So for me, um, during this past month, I wore the white linen shorts. They need to go to the... Uh, I need to go wash them, but these are the white linen shorts. Um, they have pockets. Put a, okay, let me put them back. Uh, they have pockets. They're high waisted, paper bag short, wider leg, and that is the key for me. I need something that's not going to squish my thigh and make me look bigger than I am. Um, I need something high waisted to cinch in my waist love pockets, that's just a plus point, and like something lightweight and that goes with everything. These are them. Um, we're going boating again in a few days, so I need to make sure those are washed. The other pair are the jean shorts. They're downstairs. I, I just washed those. And these ones are very limited in size, but I'm gonna give you two links, one to the pair that I'm wearing, and then the second to this pair here, which is very similar. It's just a little distressed. Beautiful shorts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wish I had gone down a size. I actually, in white things, I tend to go up, not dresses, but like shorts and pants, I tend to go up. I wish I didn't do that. They're a little, I keep washing them in hot water, trying to keep shrinking them. Um, but they've got some stretch to them. So they're just an excellent pair of shorts. So um, really good. And I think white shorts in general are super hard to find. Because a lot of the shorts that I have are printed, which, I love, such as these, which are still available. Again, 
paper bag, high-waisted pockets, adorable. These I dress up. Um, this is my favorite shirt. I've worn this shirt so many ways. I'll just keep throwing pictures here at you because I've worn them with the black linen or the black silky pants. I've worn them with skirts. I've worn them with shorts. Um, that shirt is fantastic. Um, that is one that will just go year okay not in winter here but that is a three season shirt for sure um and i love it it's a double v it's great and that is a favorite i wore it all summer and i wore it with this so um with those i've worn it with the black skirt that i'm also going to show you that's been a favorite i've worn that multiple times um sometimes i go oh wow you're just wearing the same things over and over again but sometimes i just get I just have favorites and that's what it's all about, right? You want to know what my favorites are or maybe you don't, but I'm telling you anyways. <laughs> now, couple dresses. I really want to highlight because of the price point and the fact that they're freaking gorgeous. This is the number one. Look at these colors. These colors are so vibrant, y'all. It has this cobalt blue and then this orange and those two colors together are just stunning. It has this gorgeous slit, not too high up. The V is not too, um, too low. I've washed this and then I just hang to dry. Um, I, you could probably throw it in the dryer. I don't know. I don't, I, if it's something like this, um, and I spent 15 bucks on this. Yep. It's from Shein. It's their own brand. And I did get it in a large, uh, they tend to run a little small. Shein does. I love that dress so much with the flutter sleeves. It's beautiful. I will show you some pictures of, um, the vacation if you haven't seen that vlog you are welcome to look i'll put it in the description box great place perhaps you're in the area of uh, upper new jersey i don't know if they really call it upper new jersey but there's jersey shore and then there's the mountains so it's up in the mountains um beautiful place to stay so if you want to check that out you're welcome to um but this is and by all means if you do go you must eat at the chef's garden it's stunning the food is fantastic or i mean just Ah, so good. And their cornbread, oh, best cornbread I've ever had. And I lived in Texas, y'all. So um, this is number one. Number two, the red dress. I feel like I mentioned this last month, but again, I continue to wear it this month. So what are you gonna do? I'm just... So then the other dress is the black dress that actually I wore it yesterday. So it's not up here. I will show you a little picture here. I wore it to the marina. Really cute. I like belting it. It has pockets. This is from Chico's. Um, someone once said, said that I could unfrump Chico's. I am not, that this was my first time purchasing anything from Chico's. It's very, um, Chico's has some very beautiful patterns and stuff like that, but it's very, um, not form fitting not that i'm wear any everything form fitting but it's just very flowy i guess let me use that word flowy and so for me i really like to accentuate my waist because to me it makes me look you know like i have an hourglass figure i'm not just this you know moo moo um great dress better dress when you belt it actually good dress great dress when you belt it um and it's simple i you know any old belt would do um i love the you know i love the weave belt from amazon um that just it blends really well and then i wore the cute little sandals um and uh a sweater that i've been wearing because sometimes it is chilly what is this one right here if this is still available snag it it's beautiful it's great it's gonna go on the next trip with us Yes, we're taking another trip. Very, very short one. Very short. <laughs> just, just, just before Matthew goes to school. Ah, okay. This dress right here, as well. This green dress was perfect because I actually brought it on our boat ride. So I wore the Lalabanca one shoulder swimsuit this one here and then what I did was when we were finished, all I had to do was throw this dress on because it's a one shoulder dress and you couldn't even tell that I had a swimsuit on um, and so this one is really really cute it's green it's beautiful and again it was around $15 so then the shirt that I've been wearing the most I guess like blouse is the one that I did pick up from um, Nordstrom and I've worn it both in the green 
and I've worn it in the orange. I wore it with the orange. Um, I'm just gonna post pictures. I wore this to a barbecue that we had, like a lake mountain where we live kind of get together and with just a pair of the white shorts, my favorite shorts, and then also my white uh, Converse. Those are the platform Converse. I'm telling you, those are the best tennis shoes. For, not for working out, not for walking, but for fashion. I mean, you can walk in them, of course. They're not gonna hurt. They're super comfortable. They are not like the old Converse, you guys. And since they have a platform, they have a little bit of a lift which I like. And then the other one was green and I paired it with that beautiful black linen skirt that I'm also obsessed by. That one I have a feeling is sold out, unfortunately. Uh, but if it's not, I'll list it. But if it is, I'll let you know. This little dress from Shein is this green and I have it. This one is up here. How cute is this? Now it comes with a tie. I rip all the ties off. Um, I throw them in the bin and if for some reason I decide that, but I like a more chunky belt most of the time. This is gorgeous, you guys. This this is so pretty. Um, it has this nice little V that's not too deep. Again, it's just you know a little elastic. Um, there's no slits in this, so if you're like, I don't want any slits, but I want a really pretty pretty green dress. This is gorgeous. What belt did I pair with that? Easy. This big chunky belt from Amazon. It's got a weave to it. It's got, it's gorgeous. And I thought it looked really, really cute. And then what I did was, cause I just went all green. It's gorgeous bag. So I paired the two together. Don't they just look like they go? I mean, some people might go, well, this is a floral pattern and this is an eye cap. They don't go. And I say, um, they're both green and white. They go. Um, <laughs> you know what? Fashion's all the way to, <laughs> you want to make it. But again, another dress that was super, super inexpensive. All right, you guys. So that is it. That's my favorites, fails, and empties for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.